lecture 30 of uh, groundwater hydrology. So, in this lecture the topics to be covered radiation logging method. So, within this radiation logging method, natural gamma logging followed by gamma gamma logging followed by neutron logging, and then we will move on to temperature logging, temperature logging method, followed by caliper logging method followed by fluid conductivity logging method followed by fluid velocity logging method and then lastly miscellaneous logging methods. So, these are the topics which are proposed in this uh, lecture and first we will start with the, the radiation logging. So, in this radiation logging so within this we will start with the the natural gamma logging and in this so this is based on the principle of principle is the emittance of natural gamma rays by all rock soil formations. So, that is the principle on which this logging is based on and uh, here. So, this uh, radiation originates from unstable isotopes of uh, potassium potassium uranium and thorium and uh, so the natural gamma activity gamma ray activity of clay is uh, much higher much higher than uh, sands and carbonate rocks. So, 
So, the application of this of uh, natural gamma logging applications are one in lithol one uh, major application is lithology identification and uh, of course there are other uh, this one also the identification of other fine grained formations like uh, clay shale etc so these are the application and uh, in this a typical natural gamma ray log will have say depth along the vertical axis and then the radioactivity along the horizontal axis and uh, here so in this case so this will constitute uh, something like this and uh, here so this is uh, 0 0 and uh, this corresponds to so in the geological log so maybe this corresponds to sand again so here it is uh, sand and gravel and uh, this is a uh, till. So, here this is a uh, clay, then uh, sandy clay, then again here this is a uh, sand and gravel and then again this is uh, till and again uh, say this could be gravel. So, like this, so we can identify the this, uh, the formation of uh, the rock using this natural gamma logging. Next we will go to that is gamma gamma logging. So, here gamma ray radiation originating from or say coming out from a source probe. and recorded after it is a uh, bat scat back sc scatter. Is the gamma gamma
log and uh, so the source probe consists of of uh, cobalt 60 cesium 137 so this is generally so the these isotopes of cobalt and cesium so this is shielded from sodium iodide detector built inside the into the probe. So, this again the applications of this so one is uh, lithology identification then estimation of bulk density and uh, porosity of uh, formations. So, if this porosity is denoted as alpha, then this alpha can be written as gamma g minus uh, gamma b I am sorry rho g minus rho b divided by rho g minus rho f. So, here this rho g is the grain density and rho b is the bulk density. So, this bulk density, so this is measured from a calibrated log and then this rho f, so this is the fluid density. So, if so these three parameters are known, so then we can estimate the porosity of uh, formation using this uh, gamma ray logging. And uh, one last application of the third application of gamma ray logging is uh, in location of casing collars <coughs> grouts and uh, zones of hole enlargement so using this uh, gamma ray gamma gamma radiation. So, these uh, casings, collars, grouts and uh, hone enlargement uh, zones can be located. So, next we will go to the another that is the last variety of this radiation logging. So, that is neutron logging. In this case, so this is a a neutron source and uh, detector in a single probe which produces
a record of hydrogen content. of a borehole so here so this hydrogen content so this h content is proportional to interstitial water and uh, Therefore, this neutron log measures soil moisture above water table. And porosity below water table. So, these two can be measured. So, here what happens is see the mechanism is neutrons have same mass as uh, hydrogen. and no charge, no electrical charge. They are neutral. So, when neutrons collide with uh, when neutrons collide with this uh, this uh, hydrogen so there will be energy loss and and neutrons are uh, slowed and slowing down of neutrons so here this uh, neutron probes use the which are currently available use beryllium combined with so, this is beryllium combined with uh, radium 226, plutonium. So, this is plutonium 239. or americium. So, this is a uh, 241. So, these isotopes and uh, this case so obviously 
So, the application major application is soil moisture estimation. then followed by porosity estimation. So, obviously, this small moisture estimation we have seen. So, this is above water table and porosity estimation this is below water table. And uh, here, so this for porosity estimation large holes are uh, used. large diameter holes are uh, holes and uh, larger probes are required. And uh, so, here there is one uh, a typical neutron log. So, here this is the depth in meters below the below ground level and this is the moisture content in percentage. So, this is neutron log of a shallow well in an unconsolidated alluvium. So, this uh, is taken from the US geological survey and here. So, the so based on this we can say if the moisture content is more. So, then we can say it indicates a clay this one and uh, here it indicates unsaturated zone and uh, so here this is a uh, sand and sandy silt again for a small depth it is clay then followed by so, this is sand. So, like this using the neutron log we can estimate the soil moisture and also we can estimate the, the porosity. Next we will go to caliper logging. So, in this caliper logging it is the log of the borehole diameter with its depth. So, this is the And uh, here, so the obviously, so this is taken as the average borehole diameter because at a particular location there can be uh, the borehole may have uh, varying diameters, it may not be perfect uh, circle. And in this case, so the applications are of this uh, caliper logging are. Uh, lithology identification and uh, 
and uh, next is the stratigraphy correlation stratigraphic correlation so they can also be used for location of fractures and uh, other openings in rocks so let us uh, consider a typical caliper log so in this case uh, this uh, so this is the average hole diameter in centimeter along this one and uh, here there is a depth so this is the depth in meters and in this case so the so it may show something like this so here this represents a casing this represents crevices this represents soft water and sand and again so this represents uh, caving shales again crevices and this represents liner and so on so in this case so this is a caliper log and in this case so the a typical so this is the caliper and then so this caliper so this uh, goes on so this is a typical caliper and uh, here you can show this is the so this is the bore hole and with the uh, different rock formation so this is a uh, this is a caliper so this is a uh, caliper logging so next we'll go on to this fluid conductivity logging so this is a a continuous log of uh, electrical conductivity of fluid in a bore hole so this is a fluid conductivity so the probe is the probe measures the alternating current 
voltage drop across two closely spaced electrodes. It is governed by fluid electrical resistivity between the electrodes. And do we know that the fluid resistivity, so this uh, if we abbreviate the electrical resistivity as E r, so this fluid electrical resistivity which is measured in in ohm meter. So, this is the reciprocal of that is the fluid conductivity. And this conductivity is measured in So, this is the micro Siemens per centimeter. So, this is a micro Siemens per centimeter. So, this electrical uh, this electrical resistivity is the reciprocal of this one and uh, the applications So, the applications are one is the location of saline water zone Two is extrapolation. This fluid electrical ele uh, the conductivity log can be used for extra extrapolation of water sample data. And in this case, say for example, a typical uh, fluid conductivity log, it will have So, this is the depth in meters and then the specific conductance in uh, micro semen per centimeter. In this case, so, suppose this uh, fluid electrical fluid conductivity log, so it has a shape something like this. So, this indicates, so here obviously, so this is a, so this is fresh water overlying a saline water. So, obviously, saline water is a good conductor of electricity. So, its specific conductivity is much higher. So, of the order of uh, say something like uh, 40,000 whereas, so the fresh water has very negligible as one, maybe even uh, less than a thousand or around thousand uh, micro Siemens per this one per uh, 
centimeter. So, next we will go to the fluid velocity logging. So, in this fluid velocity logging, so it consists of fluid movement tracking or measurement within a borehole. So, it is applications to reveal strata contributing water to a well. to estimate the hydraulic differences so estimate differences in hydraulic uh, parameters of uh, various aquifers intersected by a well and thirdly to estimate casing leakages the leakages in the casing pipes and in this case say suppose so this is a well and uh, it has so there is a so this is a well screen so, this is a well screen, this is also a well screen. And uh, here say suppose there is a, so this is a pump. In this case, the fluid So, the fluid velocity logging, it will be something like this, I am sorry, it starts at the pump level and uh, so it is uh, so this is the upper aquifer and uh, here this is again and so on. So, basically, so this is a, a typical So, this is uh, this indicates upper aquifer. So, this indicates 
and this indicates a lower confined aquifer and uh, so this is the velocity. So, this is the depth. So, this is uh, regarding the fluid velocity logging and with this, so these three applications that is the, the strata revelation, then estimation of differences in hydraulic parameters and then the casing leakages can be, can be estimated. So, next we will go to the last item of uh, this module that is on uh, miscellaneous methods of logging. So, in this there are uh, this TV or say television logging, there is a acoustic logging, and the third one is the casing logging. So, these are the three important uh, techniques which are grouped under the miscellaneous. Uh, logging and here. So, this is uh, now let us come to this T B logging. So, this is in this a T V camera television camera is a very convenient tool. So, this T V camera lowered in a well So, it is a wide angle camera So, this is uh, uh, typically less than say 7 centimeter in diameter and when it is lowered inside a well. So, it provides a visual inspection of a borehole. So, the applications So, the applications are one is location of changes, geological strata changes, So, inspection of uh, well casing condition, then The third one is checking for debris in wells and uh, location of sand entrance zones.
So, there is also what is called a photo log. So, this photo log, so it is basically photographs taken in a well that is within a well at close time intervals. So, this is uh, regarding the T B logging. Next, we will go to what is called the acoustic logging and uh, this is also known as sonic logging. So, in this the so, it measures sound velocity through rock surroundings rock surrounding an uncased fluid filled hole. And uh, so, therefore, if porosity is greater, is higher, the closer is the measured sound velocity. to that of fluid. So, the applications of this uh, acoustic logging are estimation of depth and thickness of uh, porous zones second is the estimation of porosity and third is uh, identification of uh, fractured zones and uh, next application is the determination of bonding of cement between casing and formation. casing and the formation between the casing and the formation. So, these are some of the applications of uh, acoustic logging and uh, lastly we will go to this uh, casing logging. So, this uh, casing logging. So, here a casing collar locator is used for locating collars, perforations and screens in uh, casings. 
and uh, so it consists of of uh, magnets wrapped in a wire coil so this uh, fluctuations voltage fluctuations caused by mass metal a mass metal cutting magnetic lines of force magnetic flux lines are recorded so there are uh, other subsurface methods which include the pumping test the the ground water level measurements water quality measurements so all this have been uh, already discussed most of this have been discussed in the previous lectures and few might be uh, discussed in the next lectures so basically this uh, subsurface investigation of ground water it is the more complete and it provides uh, uh, it is uh, almost complete information as compared to the surface information uh, as compared to the surface investigation. So, that needs to be properly complex uh, utilized to arrive at the ground water to arrive at a holistic investigation of the ground water. Thank you.